This video is going to be a little longer than the usual three minutes or so, but as it's a very important topic, I hope you don't mind. There's an increasing ecological disaster going on right now which has infected the major river systems and surrounding wetlands of America. Hidden below the surface of muddy waters throughout the land, from southern Florida all the way to the Canadian border, Asian carp are ravaging ecosystems, destroying native fish populations and wildlife habitat, and now threaten to enter the Great Lakes. Since their introduction and escape from a variety of aquaculture facilities in the south during the 1970s, these invasive species have spread chaos and have also negatively impacted the economies of areas that depend on renewable, natural resources for their financial health. Millions of dollars are being spent annually by federal and state governments to control the damage done by these fish with little or no impact. The Asian carp continue to multiply exponentially and destroy all in their path. Natural resource experts believe that completely eliminating these fish is now simply impossible and that the most productive solution to the long-term management of these fish in order to decrease their numbers and utilize this otherwise wasted food source is to promote large-scale harvesting through both commercial and recreational fishing. However, it's been very difficult to get people interested in catching these fish, primarily because there's such little interest in eating them, and people who have to live with these fish simply hate them. The Asian carp are written off as a worthless trash fish, and as a result, the general public simply doesn't know how incredibly delicious and nutritious these fish are. People constantly ask, can you eat Asian carp? Are Asian carp edible? Do Asian carp taste good? The answer to all of those questions is a resounding yes. In recent years, scientists, health experts, and gourmet chefs have discovered that these fish are one of the healthiest on the planet and they're incredibly delicious. In fact, in blind taste tests all across the country, Asian carp have been preferred almost unanimously over other highly favored fish, such as cod and catfish. What's perhaps most intriguing, however, is how nutritious these fish are even when caught from not-so-healthy bodies of water. Here's why. All fresh and saltwater fish contain varying degrees of chemical contaminants such as mercury. Mercury is a naturally occurring chemical found in the rock of the Earth's crust. However, it becomes problematic for the environment when excess levels of it are released into the atmosphere and eventually absorbed into surrounding bodies of water. As a result, the fish in those bodies of water absorb the excess mercury, as do the humans who eat those fish. Again, nearly all fish contain at least trace amounts of mercury and other chemical compounds that are in the water where they're harvested. But the health risks are significantly elevated if one consumes large quantities of fish that have high concentrations of such toxins. The silver and bighead Asian carp have the unique ability to remain incredibly clean and healthy even in not-so-healthy waters and ecosystems, primarily because they don't bioaccumulate toxins as most other fish do. The most commonly eaten fresh and saltwater fish are either top-level predators or omnivores who accumulate varying degrees of toxins due to the prey fish and other food items that they eat. While these prey fish, crustaceans, aquatic plants, insects, and worms that most fish feed on have minor levels of toxins in their systems, the larger fish that eat those things accumulate significant levels of toxins over time. Silver and bighead Asian carp, on the other hand, are filter feeders who eat microscopic phytoplankton and zooplankton, which only live for a matter of days. Asian carp grow very quickly and have relatively short lifespans, all of which contributes to them being much healthier than most other fish on the market, since progressive concentrations of harmful toxins don't accumulate to the high degree that they do in fish that are either predators or omnivores. As far as the nutritional benefits of Asian carp, they are low in sodium, they rank among the highest of all fish in dietary protein, and they're exceptionally rich in antioxidants, 
vitamins and minerals, especially things like phosphorus, vitamin B12, and zinc. These fish are also among the highest in heart-healthy omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids, even more so than salmon, according to some studies. What's most appealing is that the taste and texture of silver and bighead Asian carp is a white, flaky, mild flesh, very similar to cod and even crab, which easily absorbs the flavors of the herbs, spices, and sauces that are used in preparing it. Now with all this being said, keep in mind that there are certainly challenges with actually catching and then processing these fish, which are some of the reasons that many folks simply don't bother with them. But those issues too are easily addressed with a little knowledge and in-the-field experience, all of which will be the topics for future videos here at this channel, so stay tuned. If you'd like to learn more on this topic, Check out the book, Eat the Enemy, which is a complete guide to catching and cooking the Asian carp. I'll leave a link in the video description below. And how about you? Have you tried catching and eating Asian carp? What are your thoughts? Feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel, click on the link in the video description below to find out more.